Hello everyone and welcome back to acting. This week you were assigned your scenes and you're gonna do exactly what everyone does when they get their scenes. You're gonna freak out. You're gonna freak out because you need to know all of these lines and you have to learn them and you have to memorize them. But don't worry, don't panic, don't despair, because what we're gonna go over are some ways to help you learn your lines and some tips for memorization. So let's get started. Now with everything, the way you memorize is going to be as unique as you are as a person. Now, each of these exercises that I'm going to tell you about and talk to you about are all different ways that I know are proven ways that have worked for people I know. The first one that we're gonna go over is one that I do, and it's been very effective with me and everyone that I've worked with who has incorporated it. The first thing that you need to do, it's a multi-step process. The first thing that you need to do is you have to read your scene and then take a pen or a pencil and put a slash mark where every period, every exclamation point, or every question mark is in your script. What we're doing is we are identifying where the end of the sentence is, not where a comma or where you would take a breath or where you think the thought is broken up, but where the actual end of the sentence is. Here's why. We think in sentences and we think in points. You are trying to make a point with every sentence that you make, right? Every time you say something, there's a purpose. And that purpose, once you've completed it, that's the end of the sentence. So one sentence equals one thought. What we wanna do is identify where the thought begins and where it ends. And then what you wanna do is ask yourself, what do I mean? When I say this sentence, what am I really saying? And what you're doing is you're gonna put the thought, the actual thought that is being spoken or that is being expressed, you're going to identify what that is. And you're going to cement and connect your thought logically with your character's thought. So what you're doing is memorizing the thoughts first. Then we go to the words because the words don't matter. It's what's being expressed through the words. Once you understand the first thought to the end of the sentence, then what I want you to do is then figure out what your next thought is. And you're gonna go all the way through to the end. But you, this thought, the first thought, helps you understand what your second thought is. Right? Logically, I say this, and then that makes me go, oh, why would I say this next thought? What is the glue that would connect me from this thought to this thought? And then figure it out, run it in your head a bunch of times so that it's there, and then start running your train of thought together. Once you've done that for your entire speech, then you go back and you start running your lines and you can start running the actual sentences. But now you know what you're saying and why you are saying it. So what you have to do in order to learn your lines the quickest for my own personal way is you need to identify the thoughts and then figure out what are you saying? Then why are you saying it? And then you're going to memorize the thought pattern then you memorize the words and you kind of refine from there. But that may not work for you, so let's explore some more. The second one that you can do is just write out all of your lines. This is for your kinesthetic learners who need to actually do something physical to learn. Well, if that's the case, what you can do is sit down and write out all of your lines. This is gonna do a couple things. It's going to, not only are you seeing it and reading it, but you're also having to transcribe it. And so you're learning it in a bunch of different ways. So just writing out your lines 
is another way that can help you learn your lines quicker. But there are more ways too. Another way, if you are a kinesthetic learner, is to move around and start to connect your lines with physical impulses. This if you haven't been rehearsing blocking with your with your director, this can be a problem, but I'll give you an example of when this was really, really effective. Uh, about 10 years ago, I had a student who was a, a big football star, but he had had a, a really traumatic brain injury and was in a coma for months. And when he had come out of, out of the coma, he had lost all of his short-term memory. Well, he wanted to be an actor. But if you have no short-term memory, it's very difficult for you to learn lines, since that's where lines kind of hang out and reside. Well, in working with him, what we did is I cast him in the lead in one of our shows, and he worked really, really hard, but no matter what he was working with, any, any of these other exercises, they weren't working as well with him. So what we did is we started building the blocking into his motivation for lines. So we would have him say his line and move, and he would do a gesture with each line and turn, and every time he did blocking, we would time it with the movements. So what we were doing is we were programming his muscle memory to help him understand when I turn like this, this is, these are the words that come out of my mouth. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of hours, but in the end, he was so great in the show. There wasn't one mistake that he made. He was on point the entire time. And I remember at the end of the night, his parents coming up to me just sobbing because he had had a breakthrough that they did not think was possible before that point. But what we did is we used his muscle memory to help him memorize and understand his lines. So it is possible. And that is another way that you can use. Another thing that you can do is, and a lot of my friends do this, is they will record themselves saying their lines and then put on headphones and listen to it as they are walking about their day. So if you have to clean the house, if you're walking to the store, or if you can put it on in your car and listen to your lines. But what you're doing is you're just listening to your lines and going over them constantly. Another thing you can do within the same vein for you auditory learners, what you can do is have a friend record the other person's lines and then leave spaces for you to run your lines anytime you need. And what you can do then is make an audio recording of that, carry it with you, and then anytime you have free time, whether you're in the car, you're waiting at the store, you can run your lines with another person and the other person doesn't have to be there because they already recorded their lines and their responses are already there. And you can go back and forward and you can do whatever you need to within that time frame. And that is another way that you can learn your lines. So there's a few different takes, but ultimately, here's what you need to do. You need to practice. The only way for you to learn is through repetition. You're gonna have to do it and do it and do it and do it and do it. And if you're just new to this process, it's gonna be really, really difficult. But your memory is a muscle and it gets stronger with time. So the more you do this work, the easier it's going to be to memorize things later. And while this may seem difficult now, it's gonna help you not only with characters, but if you're in a class or if you have to memorize anything for a test or anything in the future, it's gonna train your mind to memorize things quickly. So what you wanna do is find a way that works for you. And maybe one of the ways I talked about will work and maybe it won't. Maybe you can teach me a new way and it's gonna open up my mind and my world to new possibilities. I hope so. I hope if you come up with a new way, you share it with us. But at least you have a game plan now of some different ways that you can try to learn your lines. Okay, everyone, break a leg.
and I'll see you soon.